Hello and welcome to another classic movie review here and today we're going to be reviewing Shane 1953 directed by George Stevens but before I get into the review I have to say a spoiler alert for the movie I'm not going to try to spoil everything but there definitely will be some spoilers so consider yourselves warned second thing is if you enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this in the future don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button Let's get into the review. So Shane, starring Alan Ladd as Shane, star, uh, Van Heflin as Joe Starrett, the guy who hires Shane on to help him with his farm. You have Brandon DeWild as young Joey, who is kind of annoying at some points. And then you have Jean Arthur as the waifu, the wife of Joe Starrett, and uh, Jack Palance as Jack Wilson, or the man in black, or the bad guy of this movie, whatever you want to call it. Is this movie good? Yeah, yeah, of course it's good, but it's surprisingly subtle with the relationships that it has, particularly one between Shane and the wife, because you have a lot of indication that Shane and the wife like each other, that they, you know, that they like each other, and it seems like, they, and they never say it though, that's the whole thing, Unlo like, at the very end you have little joey being like hey my mom likes you stay with us but it was it was fine like it, it was very subtle in the way that they weren't just like oh falling over you know just falling for each other i think that that was really cool i like i liked that that happened and it's never over the top this movie is never over the top with anything sometimes you see westerns where the guy is shooting like 12 shots out of his six shooter and it really mathematically doesn't make any sense this movie does not do that. This movie is very based in reality with what the characters did, and it seemed like everything in this movie that happened could actually happen. Um, not, the, the character development was good for mostly people other than Shane. Um, Shane kind of stayed that same gunman with a good heart throughout the movie, so there wasn't a lot of development there, but there was development with Van Heflin as Joe Starrett, how... He started off as just a very skeptical guy, and then he kind of takes Shane in, and then at the very end, he wants to go fight Jack Wilson, um, but he, and he pretty much knew that he was going to die, and so he was like, hey, Shane, just take care of my wife, and, and because, you know, again, hinting that they had that day, Shane and, and the wife who had a thing. And so it the it was it was really well done. The characters were, and the villains actually thought out their plan. It it was a still a bad plan. I mean, not a bad plan, but a wrong plan, an evil plan. But they actually thought it out as far as the the bad guys went and they got Jack Wilson, who was an outlaw, so that they didn't have to worry about the law because this guy had broken the law already. So this guy was not this guy was not afraid of the law and little joey's a meme machine like i mean you just see his reactions you're gonna you're gonna crack up when you see reactions where they cut away to little joey as he reacts to something that shane did it's it's just funny one thing this film does really well in my opinion is creating the oh wow moment because for the whole time for the whole film shane doesn't put his gun on at the very beginning when he gets there he takes it off and he doesn't put it back on he does put it back on to show uh shane how to shoot um but that that doesn't count he doesn't put his gun on till the last 15 minutes really uh, it, and it's when he does put it on it's like oh okay now now shane is gonna shane is going to go kill somebody um because it's he they did have like a couple of bar fights bar or yeah they had no they had one bar fight and then Shane and Joe Stewart 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 it's 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 weird to say and Joe they did have a fight too but like you were waiting since it's a western since you know it's a western you want I wanted him to put on the gun and just go guns blazing and make it like a tombstone kind of thing but this movie was more of an artsy movie i guess if you will but it, it makes you wait and it pays off with a relatively short fight i mean he gets his gun on he goes into town and then he's just kind of it's just like bang like he kills uh jack palance or 
Jack Wilson. He kills Jack Wilson. He kills the other bad dude. He kills the other bad dude. And then it's over. It was like three shots. Well, not three shots. It was like two, three, four shots. And then it was over. And I thought that that was really bold of them because they built up, you know, almost two hours of the movie where it was like, okay, this guy's going to do something pretty crazy. This guy's going to, this guy's a bad dude. Like they built up that Shane was a, was a bad man with a gun and they built up that Jack Wilson was a bad dude with a gun. And then when you see them together, it was like, it was a really cool fight. The way they cut it, it's like, it makes it seem like Shane pulled first. But you never know because of the way they cut it. But the way they cut it was really cool. It was like it showed them both and it was two really quick shots. It was like Shane, then Jack Wilson, both of them pulling their guns out. And then it was Shane shooting and then Jack Wilson falling. So it was pretty cool in that sense. I like the way that they shot that. I think that it was a bold choice to have a short fight. But I think that it was it was it, it worked for me at least. And but you know, some people like their westerns to have long gunfights. Hey, that's cool with you. But for me, I felt like this movie and this gunfight worked because of they built it up and they didn't overdo it. And that's something that I really enjoy in my movies. One of my favorite things in this movie was the fight between Elisha Cook Jr. as Stonewall Tory and Jack Wilson. He has a gunfight with him and it's one of the coolest things that I've ever seen and it's it's absolutely amazing because they do it in a wide shot so you have both of the characters in the frame at the same time and um Jack Wilson gets Jack Wilson like insults him and so starts you know getting getting in his head I guess you would call it and and Stonewall Tory uh he just he draws okay he's like he, he doesn't care about anything. He's like, I, I was in the war. You know, I, I'm going to draw. I, I can fight anybody. I can shoot just as straight as anybody. And he draws. But man, it shows. And it, it doesn't cut either. And that's the cool thing. It's a wide shot on both of them. And it doesn't cut. J Tori draws. You clearly see that Tori draws first. And then Jack Wilson draws. But Jack Wilson is like way faster. Jack Wilson beats him badly in this draw and then the coolest thing is that jack wilson doesn't fire at first jack wilson pulls his gun out and doesn't fire just points it at him and it's great because tori he has his gun but his gun is like pointed down and then you just see him like slowly try to pull it up and right before he gets it pointed at ja at Wilson, Wilson shoots him. And it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a in a in a western with gunfighting. It was like, dude, this guy was so fast that he drew and he waited. Like he didn't draw and shoot. He drew pointed and waited and then it was like oh my goodness because Tori knew he knew he was dead so he didn't try to go fast you know and shoot him he was like so ever so slowly put putting you know angling his gun up and then he just gets shot it was one of the coolest things I'd ever seen and I still think that that is that might be my favorite gunfight out of anyone that I've ever seen in a western but that's my thoughts on it. I want to know what you think about this movie. So I need you to go into the comment section down below and tell me your thoughts down there. And like I said before, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this and want to see more videos like this in the future. And I'm pretty sure that next Tuesday I'm going to be doing Taxi Driver starring Robert De Niro. And I believe that's directed by Scorsese. So, yeah, definitely come back for that one and check it out. Uh, so I will be here next week, at the very least next Tuesday. But all throughout this week, if there's some trailers that come out, definitely look out for the trailer reactions. Thank you again for watching this video.